Good evening from the deepness of the abyss. I think it's uh, been a little while since I made a, a video. I think it's, it's time to do one. And today is a good, uh, comfortable evening to do so. This video will serve as a time capsule for a future people or person that might be navigating within the same, within the same um, mental frequencies and will be able to understand and utilize uh, the nature of this information and, and help it itself in its own journey towards its own destiny. It will serve also as a posterity, as, as a video for posterity, for for eternity. One more of my statements uh, that I leave for you, for this world. The title of this uh, video will be called do not go into the light after death. Go into the darkness. Let us begin with a very interesting quote from Mark Twain. It says like this. I do not fear death. I have been dead for billions and billions of years before I was born. And had not suffered the slightest inconvenience from it. Mark Twain, very interesting, huh? The trick of this thing we call reality, we call earth, we call society, and we call God is to trick you out of your power by making you think you are just a creation, a subject that must submit mentally to what is given without question. The nature of this reality is, is that of a trickster who seeks to remove you to, from your own capacity and power by delusions. The actual is that all things on this plane have been tainted with corruption and deception, sometimes in maliciousness, other times because of ignorance. This wrenches from that that you imagine as God, as that which is dead itself. This world is more like a farm, where you are being farmed by the thought forms that we, the collective, have created through the ages by ignorance. We feed them by believing in them, we strengthen them by worshipping them. There is a point why this life is so momentary and fragile, for one, if we were to live lies for thousands of years, we will figure out easily the truth. Therefore, the illusion of this existence must give us short, difficult lives. Do not have the time to reason what is actually going on. We have deluded ourselves into this state via our thoughts through millions of years. We are inside a dream within a dream within a dream, and each dream deludes itself into further Cows as we lose consciousness of ourselves in the chains of life and death. There is no meaning to life per se in the way humanity imagines, although we can conjure meaning to it by evolving, by the observance of the nature of reality and the energy signature that forms all reality. What can determine that there is more to it than this? The totality of creation will speak that there is something wrong with it and that this space is really not for habitation for this of the self to endeavor upon eons as these bodies in reality operate as a prison and deception. The point of life was not to be a CEO of a company, a billionaire, a movie star, or something of this nature in this civilization. Not that those things mentioned are bad, but in reality, those things are foolishness and vanity. They are foolishness because such things are passing in the life your build is taken away in the moment of death. Just with those things, 
I was thinking in that. It's like building a castle in sand to have it for eternity. How, how crazy will that be? You build something momentary to deal with infinite, eternal natures. You know, that's illogical. This, this body is, has boundaries and limitations. If we are to build a, a castle for eternal habitation, you know, a castle of sand, at any moment a wind and a rain can destroy it permanently. The purpose of life, we are to give a meaningful purpose, was to unbound the deception of the, of the existence, of this existence itself, and prepare yourself for your own death when the time comes for it. For that is, in reality, graduation time. You're not here to submit to a god or a religion, but to find yourself. If in that you die thinking and believing in a god, deity, savior, such being will appear in your moments of death, and it will fool you into fuse with him. In reality, the state of mind and beliefs you have acquired through your life will manifest as traps to bring you back in here in a new body and without your memory. A such self will lose itself in the light of illusion. Therefore, you must re reject the gods and religions, saviors given to you in whatever re region of the earth you were born. And look within yourself for the truth and the light. In this manner, via your intuition, you will reach the actual. Only when you reject God and instead look to the God within to become your own God, would you be able to escape this realm of mortality. In the process of your death, as you lay in the last moments of your life, you will begin to experience strange hallucinations, and you respond to them will determine if you cease to exist forever, as the self you create in the lifetime of your body, or if you can ascend via a spiritual body of your own design. By becoming the fullness of God in your own being, by remembering who you are, There is no life after death in regards to the common human that represents the majority of the living humanity as the universe intelligence cannot maintain consciousness that did not develop beyond the common archetypes of the nature of the species. In other words, someone that never gained true entity outside the ordinary intelligence and consciousness of the human species. There is no reincarnation, but the same replica of human keeps getting being born and all, over and over again. So in essence, it's the same entity to overcome this process of entrapment. You must supersede the biological constraints of the species and override the social constructs and derivates of reality. The cell will attempt to entrap, to entrapment the self to see if such self has reached the proper composition of spiritual awareness, the light, the dead relatives, and in many occasions the gods which the person believing in life will also make their appearance as illusions of the psychic to trap the subject back into the densities of death in its last moments of life. In the last minutes of your brain operation you will see hallucinations apparitions that are determined by the beliefs you see that through your throughout your life as stated above most likely based in current human mental human mental constructs of the contemporary reality you will see a white light that will feel like the presence of god in her tremendous peace very likely you will find your dead relatives that will call you to join them do not The luminous light that may appear is not God, but a blinding hole of death in which your presence will lose itself into nothingness and will dissolve forever. In those moments you must go into the darkness and remember, and remember your divinity and your awareness that you are God, so you can manifest a body based in the energies of your last moments of imagination, energy, and lifetime of capacity and intelligence and spiritual evolution. 
You must have faith in yourself as God, otherwise the self will mean the solution in the abyss too. As the powers of the infinity, the abysmal nothingness will pull you apart as the self is not conscious enough to withstand the vacuum. With the isolation of the oneself in itself, Once you have gained a body based in spirit constructed by the mind prepared by an entire life of evolution, you will have the power to create universes and inhabitations such as the one you, have, you are experiencing as reality now. By this time you will participate in them in full awareness of your true entity. This is your gift for the great work you have achieved. For you deviate away from the entire natural path of the human race to find yourself and lead a path that very few across the ages have. This is the truth of how to reach immortality and ascension after death. The state of consciousness you have reached in the moment of death will, de will determine if you can pull this entire and final exercise to cheat or borrow or not. Liberation from the cycles of life and death does not come without superhuman effort and merit. There is no point on hating or loving. All is vanity and in vanity this world, all is meaningless here. Why should I look to the left or to the right? Just move forward. With the aim of concluding this journey in the best possible outcome, knowing the darkness and the light to synthesize the truth of the truthfulness. There is no love here. You will never find peace on this realm of chaos, suffering, and death. Do not seek such illusions. Immortality is not given, it's gained by merit. Your entire life was a test of deception, perhaps planned by, your, by you, or perhaps an error of your many adventures and manifestations through the years. That led into this outcome to see if you deserve the right to become a creator once again, a fractal within a fractal, a god in many gods, all existing simultaneously in a single moment, as the totality of all totality and eternity. Now, to conclude, I will give you a couple quotes one mine and one from uh, J.K. Rowling. It's actually very interesting. This quote from her To the well organized mind, death is but the next great adventure. J.K. Rowling. Now, here's my own quote The darkness is your friend. That is why you have been the That's why you have been teached by the deceivers to fear it. Well, good evening, and uh, until next time, goodbye, friends.